bowline on a bite. Okay, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to tow, tie a bowline on a bite. And sometimes when you have a length of cordage, you want to tie a bowline on the actual bite itself, where you don't have access to either end of the cord. So what I've done is I've centered a piece of cord here like so, and I'm going to take it across and then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our cord around the top and form a loop. Just like when you're tying a normal bowline, we're forming a loop, overhand loop, on at that point there. The next thing I'm going to do is take this end here, pass it up through the loop. Okay, now the thing we've got to remember here is that these two pieces down here will actually form the main loops of our um, bowline on the bite. So the next thing we do is we take this loop here and we pass it over and around the back of our two loops at the bottom there and then just pull it to the top like so and as you can see there we now have our bowline on the bite and then as I tighten up on these, just tighten them up and you can see then we have then two loops at the bottom here and both those loops are independent. But one thing I would say to you is that sometimes it's easy to get this not wrong and I don't know why. I've got it wrong in the past and if you get it wrong you end up with a slip knot. So before you actually put it to use, test it, pull it on both strands just to ensure that it's actually locked in place. So just a little bit of caution with this one, give it a test before you put it into use and you've then got yourself a nice bowline on the bite. And the other wonderful thing about this knot is it's easy to undo because all we do is take this cord here and we can then pass our ends through and as you can see it comes undone fairly easily. So what I'll do is I'll show you that again, how to tie it. So basically, at the point, that point there, form a loop, like so. So there we go, we form a loop, and then we take our other loop here, and we pass it up through that loop there. And don't forget, these are the two loops, eventually, which will be able to take all the strain. So this one here then comes over, we pass those two loops through like so, bring it round on itself so it goes round the top like so and then what we've done here is we have now created our bowline in the loop and that's it, simple. But once again, just reiterate, sometimes you put it on the wrong loop or something like that and you end up with a slip knot as opposed to a bowline. So just test it before you actually put it into use. And so there we have it, a bowline on the bite. Very simple, very easy and a useful knot to know as well.